We're actually, it's a sort of a closed circuit broadcast. We're using the equivalent of six telephone lines. So we actually make six telephone calls and connect to the other school. It's three ISDN lines, what they call it, it's equivalent of six telephone lines. So just maybe at home or at school, you've dialed in on a modem to the internet. Sit it's down. very similar to that. We're connecting using digital video. And there's the other class. Any other questions before we get going? Hi, Center Line. Can you hear me there? If you can, why don't you just wave your hand for a second, if you can hear me at Center Line? Okay, I'm assuming they can hear us okay. Are you ready to start it at the Center Line site? Well, we're not getting any audio from them, so I'm sure they'll be with us in just a second. Get our other site, and we can hear them, and they can tell us they can hear you. We'll get started. Okay. Hello, Mario. <coughs> little little things like this, we have delays. One of the most frequent things in, in teleconferences is, I can hear you, can you hear me? Or I can see you, can you see me? But we just need to get him online. Good morning, Mario. Can you hear us okay? Yes, we can. Okay, we're, <coughs> we're ready at this site to get started if you're ready to go. Uh, we're ready. I've introduced our special guest to the group here, but I'd like to take a second and first welcome Crothers Elementary teachers and <coughs> students. And I think we're in for a very exciting morning. Uh, this morning we're going to take a time to honor the people of, of Japan and the people who died at Hiroshima by having Ms. Matsubura tell us her story about her experiences and we are very honored to have her in our presence today. What we're going to do is we're going to, she's going to talk to you for about 15 to 20 minutes about her experiences at Hiroshima when the atomic bomb fell and then we're going to take questions. We'll have three questions from your side and then three questions from this side. Mario, do you have any questions before we get started? Uh, well, thank you very much. And I'm going to get out of the way now and turn this over to Ms. Matsuburo. And again, thank you for being in our presence today. Thank you very much for coming here to talk about the peace with you. Thank you so much. Before we started my story, I just want to say some Japanese word. Ohio. That means not the state of Ohio. That means Oh, ha good morning. So, should we say? Shall I say? Go uh, Ohio. Ohio. That is uh, good morning. My name is Miyoko Matsubara. I came from Hiroshima, Japan. I am one of the Hibakusha survivors of Hiroshima. 55 years ago, when the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, I was only 12 years old. And the seventh grader at a junior high school. I was exposed the atomic bomb less than a mile away from the target. I am one of 50 who could survive out of 
250 classmates. On the morning of August 6, 1945, the skies are perfectly clear with a, without a sun of the cloud. When the sun went up, the temperature rose rapidly. It was very, very hot there. Air race alarm was sounded like a boom. 7.09 a.m. and the cleared 7.31 a.m. Citizen gave the sigh of relief and they started dismantling building as a fire precaution. As you know, at that time, more than 350,000 people are living in Hiroshima, including more than 40,000 military personnel. So there was no vacation for the student. They have to work for a government. Some of them have to work at the factory, making weapons, making food, and the clothes. My age, like you, how can I make a weapon? So we were working in a certain place. We were mobilized the student, clearing away, demolished the building. As you know, Japan is a small country, size of California, but the population is a half of you. So our wood house have to build side by side. So when we are, we, when we have <coughs> bombing, fire spread the next house and the next house. Then city itself become a fireball. So our government made a decide decision to make a fire break. So more than 8,400 students were working on the six different demolition site. Forming group of four or five, we were collecting broken blue clay or pieces of wood or wood and the pieces of uh, glasses and the carries and in basket shouting out of encouragement which sound like a yosha, yosha. At that moment, my best friend shouted, I heard a sound of the B-29. B-29 is a bomber. I thought it was impossible. I look up the sky. Why I thought it was impossible, do you know? If you know, please raise your hand. Please say. How about you? Hiroshima? Mm. Here, this alarm was issued 7.09 uh, a.m. and the clear 7.31 a.m. So we returned to work. That means there is no sign the bomb was there. And Hiroshima has never attacked before. 
we are careless. So when I look up the sky, the sky has a cloud or not? Perfectly clear. But I saw white vapor or trailing from the tails of the plane. I was watching like this. You can see small finger. I was watching like this. Suddenly, the atomic bomb dropped from the tails of the plane. I was watching like this. I thought, I saw a big, big fireball drop from the tails of the plane. So I lay flat on the ground. At the same time, I had a deafening roar, which could dis the bowels of the earth. The first thing that occurred to me was that plane aimed at me. I have no idea how long I had been unconscious. I felt unbearably bad smell. I wanted to hold my mouth. But when I was finding, found myself, I was dying on the ground, my right arms up and my right legs up like this. I thought I lay flat on the ground, but actually I was blown off by the blast and thrown away, fifteen feet where I had stood like this. I was there and then thrown away. And then here, I was dying on the ground. And the bar, uh, wood and the grasses and then pieces of wood cover all my body. I was dying like this. I wanted to find my hand, but uh, where my hand? And then um, I could manage my hand. Then I saw Bo's hand. Bo's hand was burned and the swollen two times as big as normal. And then I went to the cover with Bo's hand. But uh, it was difficult because my, I found my face also burns and the swollen. I went, oh, terrible, terrible, who is my friend? So, Miss Takiko standing next to me, I tried to find her. I called Miss Takiko, 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 but she didn't answer me. She ran away. I don't know where she went to. That was the, first, the last one I met her. And then she never come back. We are forming a four group left of me. They never come back to their home. I want to go home. I was struggling, struggling. Then finally I rose to my feet and the supplied. Teacher told me that white color stand out and then easily spotted by the enemy plane. So I spent the whole day dyeing my jacket dark blue with a vegetable. But all that was left of my jacket was the upper part of my breast. And my working trousers are gone, leaving on the waistband some patch of the clothes. Only clothes left on me are dirty white and 
underwear as you know black color observed heat quickly white color uh, white color dejected if I wear black color underwear how my bodies are completely burned I may not have arrived. You know, from here, from here, and from here, I had a burn in my face. This stuff from here to here, I have now burn. White color protect me from this. I wanted to go home, but it was so dark, just like a war movie. I can't see anyone. I was uh, watching, watching. I find the two person, that they are running, just like a beggar in, you know, hell. But uh, I followed them. Then finally, we did the river bank. There are a lot of people holding their hand in front of their chest. Their skin peel off from the nail, two inches, and their head stood on end. They are groaning, causing, mother, help me, mother, help me. Why they didn't jump into I felt unbearably hot. I need the water. When I tried to jump into the water, I saw many people were floating in the river. Some of them are sinking. When I found one body, she had she had a uh, swollen, uh, she had a uh, blast, and then the, uh, he, uh, her uh, stomach become uh, fat and then broken, and then her intestines are expo exploded. So, I could not jump into the water. So I walk a little while, and then I jump into the water. Someone called my name, Anchu Miyako. I couldn't recognize who was speaking to me. Who are you? I'm Michiko. But her bones are over degree that literally distorted her neck out of deducing her facial feature, eye, mouth, and a thing to apple. We want to see me, Takiko. Do you know? Where is Takiko? She said, no, no, you are first lady. So? We want to see. I was so happy to meet my friend, Nichiko. Thank you, God. So I want to see another friend. When we look back, we realize bright red flames are blazing in the area from where we escaped. If we stay in the river, those a uh, fire come to the river bank, we will not escape. We may not escape from the bank. So, river bank. So, we are helping each other, and then we climb up the river bank, helping each other. We cross that bridge, and then if we turn to right, we will go home. But uh, we turn to the left. Teacher told us every time, you have to come back to school. On our way to go home, 
we saw many people. They lost the energy. They are dying on the ground along the riverside. We are running. Some poor bending like this. The tree, the scatters all over. The people want to drink from the tank for a fire uh, protection. But the heat was so severe, they could not drink any water. Then, when we came to the place where house was burning, she stood on the ground. I encourage her, please, please, stand up and then let's go to school. Teacher is waiting for us, so please stand up. But she's so, oh Miyoko will not help me any more. So, she decided to stay there and then say, you have to go to school and tell my teacher I'm here. Please go away, go away. But uh, when I saw her, when I saw her eye, she pleased with me to take her with me. I couldn't help her, so I have to say goodbye. Three days later, when her parents found her, she was already died and a strong heart. When I think of her, if I could help her a little more further to reach the rescue center, she might have lived. My heart always aches. I couldn't run away. I was dying on the ground. Two hours later, we had a big, big, you know, black ring. For seven hours, for five miles or more than that, then Hiroshima became a core. So I could wait. My neighbors came into the Hiroshima and then found me. So I could escape from Hiroshima City. On the way to my home, I saw my father. He was a fireman. He was pouring his water. Father, I'm here. I'm here. But uh, he said, he showed some supply and uh, come down and uh, said, Mother is waiting. You have to go home. I have to go to the Hiroshima city. Oh, this is my father. I can't believe it. But uh, he rushed into the Hiroshima city and uh, stayed three days for a fire. So, then after that, he moved to the first aid station, treated the victim, helped to burn the dead bodies. So, he received the radiation from land, under the skin, and the smoke. He became cancer and died. My elder brother, and his wife died. Within four years, 
I lost three relatives. They left three, five, nine years old. I have to take care of them to school. So I could not marry it. I started to suffer from lingering high fever, diarrhea, vomiting, breathing gun, half of here fell out. I was on the bus of death for four days. But I could arrive. After one year treatment, I returned to school. I only found 37 my friend who could have survived out of 250 classmates. In our case, one of you could only survive. Left of you cannot live. I thought, whatever reason we may have, we should not have war. I thought, I don't like war. I don't like war. I don't work. I don't work. want to work. I don't like war. Although I studied very hard, but horrible carried on my face, both hands kicked me from the job after graduation. I have to overcome to treat being of outcast by our society. No one wants to sit next to me. They are afraid catching radiation from me. No one wants to marry me because they were afraid having this homo baby. But I could arrive. Just I want to say, atomic bomb is a special 